Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. I've seen some interesting debates and posts and things like that on the Twitter or the Xer or whatever you want to call it over the the numbers for the Ahsoka show. So the Ahsoka show comes out, they get the official numbers that you know 1.7 million households tunes into the Ahsoka series. People said, myself included, well that's not very good. Like if you think about it, like that's actually pretty pretty pathetic. 1.2 million households in a country of 331 point whatever million people. For Star Wars, that's not very good. And, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of, you know, fans of the show saying, oh, that's really good. Like, it's the same as Andor. And, and my whole argument is, well, the ratings for Andor are pretty, pretty pathetic too. Like, that's sad. This is Star Wars. And it just feels like the people are kind of just accepting bad as good like the ratings for these star wars shows are good compared to themselves <laughs> instead of comparing them to like what it probably should be considering it's star wars or some other massive ip and the lord of the rings fans are going to do the same thing i thought this was very interesting so uh so B bounding into comics puts out their their article you know ahsoka has abysmal viewership one of the worst star wars disney plus series since mandalorian season one and then this guy, they're lying, Ahsoka viewership is on par with Andor, don't listen to these clowns. And then this guy here says, Disney just said Ahsoka had 14 million, if that's true, that's great. Okay, so where are they getting that number? 14 million. Because I looked it up, and there's 2.6 people per household in the United States. So somebody other than Disney reports, a reputable source, we all saw it, reports that 1.2 million households tuned in. If you do the math on that, 1.2 million households will equal 3.12 million viewers. So I would like to know where Disney's getting 14 million. And I'm happy that this person said, if that's true. <laughs> and as you can see, bounding in the comments says your reading comprehension is bad, as is Oka's viewership, but I appreciate helping our ex revenue. And I, it's funny, like, Ahsoka's viewership was on par with Andor, but that Andor was bad. It was considered bad. So it's just this, this whole thing, like, you guys, like, like if you like Ahsoka, you can like Ahsoka. That's okay. But to sit there and say that 3.12 million people watching or 1.2 million households watching a Star Wars show with a character that was on TV for basically a decade and, and, and the show did well, to say that this is good... It's not. It's not good. And so then, then, then Angry Joe chimes in, and I think I had a, one or two interactions with him in the past. And and you know, I I did watch his show a few times, and I liked it. Um, I think it's not as good as it used to be, but that's just my opinion. Whatever. Like he's very popular, so it's fine. But I just thought it was funny. So yes, we already know you're drama farmer for Disney and Star Wars hate for clicks and ad revenue. We don't need you to confirm it. <laughs> I guess I am too. That's me too. And for those wanting actual numbers without supporting a trash website. So here, then he gives the actual numbers, right? And he's giving them as if this is some sort of dub. And I'm like, bro, this is not a dub, like by any stretch of the imagination. So let's go through these numbers real quick. And I'll give you based on the averages. So, so this is households and you can go look it up. 2.6 people per household in the United States, right? So you you multiply the amount. So say Mando season two is 2 million. You multiply that by 2.6. And then you divide that by 331.9 million. And you get how many people in the United States watch the show. You take the Mando season two, the 2 million. You times that by 2.6. You get your number. And then you divide that by 331.9 million. And you get how many people watch the show per capita. When you look at it that way, none of the numbers are good. This is Star Wars. None of them are good. And and it's funny to me that the people that are trying to say that the numbers are good, like, I don't get it because, like, do the numbers have to be good for you to enjoy the show? Like, if you enjoy the show, just enjoy the show. But it's funny to me that they compare, like, the previous guy, they mad, compared, oh, it got the same amount as Andor. Well, you're comparing crappy numbers to crappy numbers. <laughs> like, you're comparing the Disney Plus shows to the Disney Plus shows, which are pretty much crappy numbers and there's also a trend that we can we can watch once we figure out these these mathematics so for mando season two for example two two million households well that equates once you go once you do the math equation to one in 64 americans watch mando season two one in 64 which is is not bad i mean that's pretty good it's not great for a star wars show in my opinion but it's it's not bad it's 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 okay you can live with that and that season had a lot of hype. People really liked it. I reviewed it. Check out my reviews, whatever. But 
So one in sixty four people watched Mando season two. Then in one then one in seventy five people watched Book of Boba Fett. And Book of Boba Fett was terrible, but they came out with Kenobi, and this is their best show. One in sixty one Americans watched Kenobi. But Kenobi, I think, just destroyed the Star Wars Disney Plus possibility of trending upward. Andor hits after Kenobi, and one in 106 Americans watched it. That's terrible. When you consider Star Wars, imagine, right? So Star Wars. These are multi-billion dollar movies at one time. And now one in 106 people even care? One in 106? Less than 1% of Americans cared to watch Andor? A Star Wars IP show with with a big budget and everything else? And this is where you start to see the trend. So you've got the 1 in 61 watched Kenobi, 1 in 106 watched Andor. And then I think because it was Mando and and Mando season 2 was extremely well received, 1 in 64 people watched. So even with the debacle of Kenobi and the not not caring about Andor, 1 in 80 people watched Mando season 3. And you might have said, well, it looks like it's trending back in the right direction. Then Ahsoka comes out, and again, this is a this is a legacy character that's been around for a long time. There's an entire generation of people that grew up watching the Clone Wars and watching Ahsoka and love Ahsoka. And Ahsoka is doing as bad as Andor after Kenobi. So Andor was a nothing character, a, you know, a supporting role character in a movie. One movie, not, not particularly special in any way. And less than one in a hundred people watch that, which I think is still terrible when it's con- when you consider it's a Star Wars show. And then Ahsoka, who's for all intents and purposes one of the most popular characters in Star Wars right now, got less than one in a hundred people in this country watching it. That's terrible. So it's obviously trending down, way down. Comparing Star Wars shows to Star Wars shows is not a W. It's not, because they're all pathetic. The only one you could say, you could sort of say 1 in in 60, 1 in 65 people is pretty good, but even that isn't really good for Star Wars. Like, seriously, that's not good. Half the country should be watching this stuff. This is Star Wars. This is like the most cultural, influential IP in the United States, going back 50 years. And you're getting 1 in 100 people caring about it, or 1 in 80 people caring about it? That's really sad. And I don't see how any of these guys can say and say otherwise. The numbers don't lie. And, and, and the idea that that's an okay number when, again, these were multi-billion dollar movies. I mean, even back in their day with, with, with inflation, I mean, forget it. I mean, the original Star Wars with inflation is something like three and a half billion dollars in revenue. All that to say, I have nothing against Joe or this they, they Mad guy or any of the other people that respond to me that like Ahsoka, you're allowed to like Ahsoka just like I'm allowed to criticize and think that Ahsoka sucks. Both sides have their, their, their merit in terms of opinion and whatever and however they want to prove their point. But don't sit there and tell me that this is what Disney was hoping for when they spent $4 billion on this IP. This was not what they were hoping for, folks. The overall numbers of people who have watched Star Wars, the average show, if you add all these up and divide them, one out of 78 people in the United States is watching Star Wars on Disney, like Star Wars streaming shows. One in 78. For Star Wars, one in 78 people care. And then you wonder, well, why isn't, why aren't the toys selling and why is the merch down? And, well, because only one in 78 people is watching. And if it keeps trending, the last three shows is one in 106, one in 80, and one in 106. And or Mando Ahsoka. So if it continues trending this way, it's going to get a lot worse. That's the average now after those three shows have come out. Two shows and season three of Mando have come out. So again, it's fine if you like it, but don't say that you're, you liking it is validated by the numbers because it's not, it's not, these numbers are trash. They're, they're low. This is star Wars. And I don't know if these are just young people that don't understand how huge star Wars was. I was there. I sat in line for 16 hours for tickets to Phantom Menace. Not saying that was a great film, but the hype was so unreal. You wouldn't even the, I don't think these young people even get it. And then I walked into rise of skywalker and there was nobody there There there's like 15 people there don't use the numbers like your show enjoy your show tell everybody how great the show is do not tell me that the numbers are good and and my prediction is the ahsoka numbers are just going to go down after how dumb some of the stuff is the first couple episodes it's not trending in the right direction and disney has done a really bad job so anyways guys tell me what you think in the comment section i feel like i'm being pretty reasonable i'm using math i'm using numbers Do you think that sometimes the people that like the show are 
making arguments that are kind of rhetorical when they're comparing to Disney's own stuff or are they valid or do you think that this amount of people watching this stuff is valid is good <laughs> you know let me know what you think in the comment section if you like this video please like and subscribe check out my other Star Wars content as well as my other content about other things again thanks for watching have a good day